As someone that works from home, I'm a sucker for a morning routine. I find that if I don't have a routine and structure, my day ends up a mess and very unproductive. If you're watching this, you might feel the same way. I truly believe that having a solid, healthy morning routine is the key to being productive and staying motivated throughout your day. So here's my healthy morning routine. My alarm goes off at 6am and unlike most people, I snooze that thing for 5 minutes. It's my guilty pleasure. But after five minutes, I get up, out of bed, and I put my robe on. This one is so comfy and perfect for summer. My sister gifted it to me very kindly. And open the curtains for that natural sunlight. And then, of course, first thing into my mouth is some water. I always leave this bottle next to my bed so that I can have some water first thing in the morning. And I head into the bathroom and wash my face. I use the CeraVe foaming cleanser, if you are interested tie up my hair because you know bed hair and all that a little bit of SPF to protect your face and I was clearly loving this little neck massage <laughs> and you probably would have heard people say that the most successful people make their beds in the morning I believe that is true I can't look at my bed if it's unmade and feel happy with myself it needs to be made nicely and that's that I head downstairs. This is one of my favorite little habits that I do every morning is I have my anti-inflammatory immunity shot. I have a recipe for this on my Instagram if you want to make it. Despite my face, this actually tastes really good. It's just a little bit strong. Back upstairs to get dressed into my workout clothes. Feels a little bit weird showing you brushing my teeth, but let's just go with it. I always feel my best when I go for a walk early in the morning. This is such a great way to wake up your body naturally. I actually go with no music or a podcast. Just me and my thoughts and the cute little sheep. <laughs> oh, they really brighten my day. Once I'm back home, I like to make myself a matcha latte. And I was just showing you my cute little jar here that says poison on. <laughs> Don't know why, but I really think it's cute. And I use this little milk frother that's actually new and I'm still figuring out how to use it. So this wasn't as frothy as I would have liked, but still delicious. Then it's time for my quiet time and my matcha. Get comfy on the sofa and grab my devotionals. These are two new books that I started reading this day, one by Joyce Meyer and Rick Warren. And I just read these and write down anything that jumps out at me and just write down my thoughts. And this just really calms me down and prepares me for the day. This is the habit that I am most proud of is that I leave my phone outside of my bedroom every night and I only touch it once I've done my daily devotionals. I highly recommend you try this as well. It's honestly life changing. And then it's time for a little pre-workout snack. I had some puffed protein cereal things this morning, straight out of the hand, no bowl, no milk, just as it is, it's pretty good. And then it's time for some puppy cuddles, that's Peppa and this is Lily, and into the gym. And I started with 20 minutes of Peloton this day and I did an upper body workout, I will leave the workout in the description box if you'd like to do it. You can also do this workout with just dumbbells if you don't have a barbell. I did some bench presses, some rows, shoulder presses and some bicycles and a few other things as well. And then it's time for a shower. This day I washed my hair <laughs> and I get dressed and it's time to make some breakfast. I'm currently staying with my aunt and she has this gorgeous vegetable garden so every morning I go grab some spinach and I've been making this recipe a lot lately. It's on my Instagram but it's basically an omelette that I put a wrap on top of and then in the wrap I put my toppings so I use avocado, the spinach, some tomatoes and pesto and then you just wrap it up like this and it's honestly so good. I'm actually obsessed with this recipe at the moment. You should really try it. Like I said, the recipe is on my Instagram. It's at Nourishing Nikki if you don't follow me over there yet. So I just had my breakfast and watch a bit of YouTube. 
and then I take my supplements. I've been having these PCOA supplements, probiotics and these new beauty supplements as well. That's what I was taking in this shot. They don't taste great. After breakfast, I have a coffee, so I'm just boiling the kettle and then doing the cleaning as my coffee brews. Just how I thrive of having a morning routine, I also thrive of having a clean space. I seriously don't understand how people can function in an untidy, dirty space. I'm sorry if you're like that, I don't mean to judge, but I just personally feel so much better when my space is clean. I think my favourite way of having coffee is with a French press, so that's what I'm doing here. I will leave it linked in my description box because this French press is so cute and perfect for one cup. And that's it, I enjoy my coffee and start work for the day.